You are just a CapCut editor and want to know how to add smooth borders and bars into your edit? Well, don't worry, because today I will teach you how to do it. Hello editors, welcome back. And in this tutorial, I will show you many different types of animations, styles, and shapes you can incorporate into your edits. We will start with the basics and work our way up to advanced techniques. But before we dive in, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's see the preview. Of course, the preview doesn't show everything because you can make many combinations. I only presented the main things, but now, let's go through everything you need to know. We first pick a shape, then apply a style and finally animate it. Let's start with the shapes. First pick any overlay as a border, it can be any overlay. I will go with solid black, since I will explain what overlay to pick when we get to styles. Now head over to Mask. Here are the three main shapes we can use or which I recommend. First, Mirror, aka Bars. Don't forget to invert it. This goes for all three shapes. Here you can change Feather, Rotation and Position. Well, if you want to separate these two parts further, you need to zoom them out manually and for the opposite, zoom them in. Next, Circle, invert it if you haven't. There is one new thing to explore and that's Size. Everything else is the same as in mirror shape. Last, rectangle, same inverted. There is nothing new, only round corners, size, rotation, feather, and position. Hope I don't need to explain in details. And here you go. By presenting you the basics of shapes, I already showed you two styles. This smooth rectangle with feather and without. The smooth one which you can put all over the edit, like catch the dit. But this doesn't mean you are done. Watch this video till the end, so you gain more experience and level up your editing skills and creativity. But now we are going to the next category, and that is styles. After showing you the basics of the mask feature and the shapes, here we go for styles. Remember how I told you that you can use any overlay as the border? Well, from the preview, I used these noise and fractal overlays which you can get from my Discord server. Already made few for you guys, but if there is any other color combination you want to have in the either fractal or noise overlay, you can make them by yourself in a light motion and after motion. Should I do the tutorial? Let me know, but enough yapping. Let's get back to the tutorial. So now import an overlay either the fractal, noise, solid color, or any other you want. Let's move to masking and choose one of the shapes. I will use the rectangle shape for the rest of this video. One of effects you can add is glow. Go to effects, search for glow 2, and apply it to the overlay you are using as the border. You can customize the glow by your choice. Next effect you can add is play pendulum, with which you can create crumpled effect to the border. Don't forget to change the object. Set everything to zero and move twist all the way up to 100. Now, let's create the line. Insert a solid color or an overlay you want as the line. It doesn't have to be white. For example, you can make the border black and insert red line to it. Many combinations, as I said, but ensure to combinate it well. Avoid random choices like green and pick, as they might not look good. Anyways, move the layer so it's behind the border. For this use the same mask and settings as for the border, so it's identical. The only difference should be size. And here you go. Now I will show you for example, fractal bars with a white line, glow and the crumpled effect. If you want the fractal overlay to stop moving, you can simply freeze it. It will be shown later.
you want the crumpled effect to be applied on the line as well, don't change the object to all because it's going to include our main clip which we don't want to. Instead, copy the effect and select the object for the line overlay. Same is for the glow. Also, if you think the crumbled effect isn't really visible and you want to make it even stronger, just copy the effect how many times you need. Don't overdo it though. Before we go into the last category, join Royal Unite, an amazing editing community on Discord, with free, high-quality editing resources like overlays, sound effects, presets, fonts, and also cracked programs, apps, plugins, softwares such as CapCut Pro, After Effects, and a lot more. Connect with our active, friendly fellow editors and supportive members. I'm trying to build the biggest editing community. Help me by joining through my link in the description or in my profile. But anyways, let's get back to the video. After adjusting, customizing your border, let me show you few animations I have prepared. Every animation is named, or what it contains in the video. First is pretty simple, it's actually basic. So follow my steps. To make the border go out of the frame, you can simply swipe with your fingers, well, I did it with the size feature. Use smooth graphs. It doesn't have to be which I selected and you are done. I explained smooth graphs here, so I will leave a link down below or at the end of this video. Next, I will copy the border since there is no reason to do it again. I'm going to just add zoom out to the main clip but it has to be synced so it's smooth and clean. Start adding keyframes as they are in the border precisely. Then zooming in at the first and third keyframe or zooming out at the second keyframe. Hope so I don't need to explain when is zoom in and when is zoom out because this video would be much longer. Then use the same graphs as you used in the border. And easy, you are done. This zoom is the same as zoom two but it's zoom in. So zoom in at the second keyframe. This one is saying no mask. So no mask keyframes, which we were doing till this moment. Like at the first zoom, but we are doing it through basic. Maybe you are asking, is there any difference between doing it through mask and just scaling it in basic? Yes, but small. So at this point, we are just changing the border, so I don't have to show you zoom out and zoom in versions this time, because I already did, and it would be just more work for me. But if you do this type of zoom by scaling in basic, and you're gonna use the glow effect as I showed before, look, the glow is peeking out and there are two ways how to fix it. First, putting four keyframes in the glow to effect and setting everything to zero at the first keyframe and at the last keyframe, then adding graphs to it if you want. Or by making delay by scaling the border even more at the first and at the last keyframe. Last thing I want to mention, if you have customized your border with line, then congratulations, then you have created more work for yourself in animating part, because you have to sync the line overlay with the border. Let me show you how to do it quickly. But anyways, thanks for watching. If this tutorial helped you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot. Let me know what tutorial should I do next. And don't forget to join my editing community or check my other socials in the description. Alright everybody, see you in the next one. Peace.